everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be comparing two Genesis G80s against each other. One has the 2.5 liter turbo, and the other one has the 3.5 liter turbo. But first and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to Genesis of Sandy for giving me the G80 with the 3.5 liter turbo. Check out their inventory in the description down below. Let's get straight into the video. Now let's pop under the hoods of both of the G80s. So first off, we have a turbocharged 3.5 liter V6 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 18 around town and then 26 on the highway with power outputs being 375 horsepower and then 391 pound feet of torque. Now coming over to the other G80, we have a turbocharged 2.5 liter four cylinder that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission as well. Fuel economy is 22 around town and then 30 on the highway with power outputs being 300 horsepower and then 311 pound feet of torque. So better fuel economy, less power, worse fuel economy, more power, two more cylinders, two less cylinders. Now I'm gonna save all of you a whole bunch of time. Instead of boring you with a walk around between both of the cars, I'm just gonna show you the things that are different. So everything on the front end of both the cars, identical, they're different paint colors. The wheels are identical, but the thing that I noticed is, look at the brake calipers here on the 2.5T and then look at the caliper there on the 3.5T. So bigger brake caliper, but the actual rotors themselves look to be the same size. So I guess, yeah, that's a thing. Now the other thing that I noticed that is different is, wait for it, the seats. So here are the seats in the 2.5T. Notice the design with the stitching. And then to the 3.5T, notice the design with the stitching a little bit more intricate but literally everything else between the trim pieces, the technology, design, all that stuff is identical between both of the cars. So yeah, let's take them out and drive them. Wait, 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 I almost forgot. So MSRP over here is about 63. MSRP over there is about 56. So there is a little bit of a price difference. And also if you guys want a full blown walk around on both of these, I'm gonna have a review coming up on this shortly and then I will have a review on that as well. So just look at my Genesis playlist. If it's not there, check in a few days and it'll most likely be posted. And that'll be an in-depth review with both the cars. So you can see all the features. But now let's officially take them out and see how they drive different. setting off here now in the 2.5 liter turbo engine and from a ride quality perspective they feel pretty much the same now I'm actually gonna pop it over into the sport mode so I can kind of feel the steering with this and see if the steering feels the same over in the sport mode like I did with the 3.5 liter car yeah brakes feel about the same too between both of the cars no punch it and if you guys are wondering the reason I can make these comparisons is I've been driving this all week and so I kind of have a good feel for this uh, and then the other one I just drove yeah that all feels pretty much the same with both of them then we'll get a full-blown acceleration here yeah I mean it's quick it's just not in the same level it's it's not nearly as punchy Transmission's just as responsive, uh, but it just doesn't have the legs of that V6. That V6 just goes and goes. And I know that I'm talking out of order because this video clip is gonna be filmed first, but I, I drove them in the opposite order of uh, what you guys are seeing from a filming perspective. So I guess I need to get in character a little bit better and talk about this as if I'm uh, driving these in order. So with the 2.5, it's great. The acceleration's pretty good. There's quite a bit of turbo lag off the line. And so there, there's a big difference between both of the engines from that perspective. The V6, you guys will see, not nearly as laggy off the line. Uh, but I guess the thing I will say is like, the V6 makes this feel kind of slow. And this isn't a slow car. This has some decent get up and go. But that V6 has just got so much torque and so much punch off the line that this, again, this it makes this version feel a little bit on the slow side. So that's definitely interesting. Um, but like I said, with the brakes and everything, that those, those feel the same. And like I said, the rotors on the outside at least looked like they were uh, 
uh, approximately the same size. And so let's get into setting things up here with the 2.5 liter turbo version. So uh, first off, kind of like what I will mention in the other one is this, again, doesn't feel slow, but it feels slow compared to the V6. Really great engine, gets really good fuel economy. What I've been getting so far has been fantastic. Uh, and the power delivery is pretty good. It's just the turbo lag initially is a little bit on the annoying side. But once you're up and moving, it's not bad. It's just that turbo, that turbo lag is really shown when you drive this back to back with the V6 because the V6 just doesn't have nearly as much lag. Uh, but both of them drive the same from a suspension standpoint and everything. So that all feels the same. Interior is the same. Everything is the same, except it's just the acceleration feels different. So it's really just going to depend on what you're going to want from an acceleration standpoint. So hopefully this video will show you guys kind of the acceleration difference and you'll be able to choose for yourself. Uh, they're both great. Um, it's just that it's that, yeah, that V6 is, and you'll see, it's just so much uh, quicker. And then I guess something else to mention is the steering on this feels lighter. And I think it's because there's less weight in the front end of this car. So they didn't have to make, so the steering doesn't weight up as much. So there is that perceivable difference as well with the handling is the steering in this doesn't, it, it, it basically just feels lighter in the front end doesn't necessarily feel lighter, which is weird, but the steering does. Maybe that's kind of like how it's translating over is the lighter front end comes over in lighter steering. I don't know. I just work here, guys. But <laughs> let's go over to the uh, 3.5 liter and uh, drive that one, even though I drove them out of order and kind of messed up with uh, what I was saying in the video. But you know what? Hopefully you guys still appreciate me. setting off here in the G80 with the 3.5 liter turbocharged engine and first off let's talk about the road noise and the ride quality new nice Jaguar F type anyways ride quality really smooth it definitely feels like a nice luxury car so you definitely do get that from it and then we'll see how the brakes are up here Braking definitely feels great. And then we'll kind of get a little turn here. Yeah, pretty solid. Definitely feels peppy with that 3.5 liter V6, but we will pop it over into the sport mode. So we can have our fun, sporty, aggressive driving. And we'll be able to see if we can really feel a power difference between the two cars. And punch it. Oh, wow. Yeah, there is definitely a difference. I will tell you that right now. Now, like I said, the 2.5 is no slouch, but this thing is definitely quick. It's got some legs, let me tell you. And I'll pop it over into the manual mode. Transmission's just as responsive. Yeah, but you just, the biggest difference you feel is really the torque. It's just that punch off the line is just so much more substantial with the 3.5 liter engine versus that 2.5 liter engine. And then sound definitely sounds nicer, right? I mean, that's just what's going to happen when you have a larger displacement engine is it is going to have a little bit of a nicer orchestra under the hood. But yeah, I mean, overall, yeah, that's quick. <laughs> That is the engine that this car is meant to have. And again, like I said, the 2.5 is no slouch, but this just, just feels right. It's so punchy, so powerful. And again, just really, it's really got some legs to it. And I mean, when you drive them back to back, again, a 2.5 doesn't feel slow, but this, this kind of makes it feel a little bit slow, I guess is the best way for me to put it. Uh, but let's get into selling things up here with this 3.5 liter version. And then just kind of with this G80 uh, in general. Um, so you guys know I'm a huge fan of the G80 aesthetics on the outside. I think it just looks absolutely fantastic. Interior is great. You've got really nice leather to look at. All the touch points are nice as well. A really comfortable car, smooth ride quality. And yeah, it just does a really good job. I think the turbo lag might be less too. It seems like this is a little bit more uh, responsive also, I guess. Obviously I interrupted myself, but you guys, it happens all times in these videos. Yeah, I think that this has a little bit less turbo lag, so I guess there's another difference with the acceleration. Uh, but yeah, really good luxury car. 
It's actually quick, has a sporty edge to it. The steering weights up nicely. And yeah, it just, it, it drives great. I really like how this drives. Uh, now, which engine would I pick? It's a tough one because there is a pretty big price difference, right? 56 grand versus 63 grand. That's no joke. But I guess what I will say is this powertrain just, it feels like it's meant for this car. It's a pretty big car and that 2.5 liter engine moves it, but this really moves it. And you just don't have that same annoying lag. Like it lags a little bit, but it's got some legs to it and it really moves and, and you don't have the same amount of lag. And that torque difference is huge. Like it, it really does make a difference uh, with these cars. Uh, and so I guess that uh, what I'd have to say is if you just want a luxury cruiser, 2.5 will be great and you'll get better fuel economy. But if you really want some power when you put your foot down and you want something that's actually more on the exciting side of things from a driving perspective, then the 3.5 liter engine is going to be great because it's responsive. And again, it actually makes this luxury car feel exciting. It just adds this level of excitement to it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And so, yeah. That's the uh, G80 with the 2.5 liter turbo. And I guess my final decision, or sorry, the 3.5 liter rather, we're about, uh, we're comparing this to 2.5. I would buy the 3.5 over the 2.5. That's just me personally. Let's get some things up for our video comparing the two G80s with the two different powertrains. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to Genesis of Sandy for giving me some time with the G80 that has the 3.5 liter turbocharged engine. And yeah, I'll see all of you guys in the next video.